Joining us right now from somewhere around the world. It's Mike from around the world. God bless you, Pastor Paul. How are you doing this evening? Doing really good. I, well, you know, I'm a little under the weather this evening, but uh, I'll be all right. I'll bounce back. That seems to be going around a little bit. Yep. Well, Mike, uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to hear any of the show so far. What's going on? Oh, by the way, your website's down. Can you, you got an update on that? I know it is. I know it is. I'll have to see to that right following this uh, broadcast. Okay. Okay. We're in for it. You know, it just so happens that uh, that's in a very, that's in a, that's in a very, you know, strange time anyway, but well, we just can't, we're, we're looking at maximum weather events happening during that time too. You well, know, speaking uh, of so, that, you know, Hawaii right now, there's <clears throat> one, two, three, and a fourth one just formed. They're all in a row headed straight for Hawaii. Yeah. Really weird. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of them is a category three. The other two are almost tropical storms and a fourth one just formed. They're all on the same path. I never seen anything like that. Uh, so you're saying some of these storms are being manipulated, I take it. Well, we have a, we still have a change in the, um, our Northern pole and equators influence, right? right. The equator is still going to move. It's going to move. Pole shift. Um, that's what we're looking at. And so even right now, if you start to look at the storm tracks, uh, a trend of the storm tracks, what you're starting to see is a shift. It's almost like a, um, it's off of about, about five degrees from what it normally is. That will continue, right? So the equator or the earth itself is going to reposition itself. There's no way it's going to maintain its position. We have too, too high of an external, uh, influence that will take place. And that will probably happen in, in almost abruptly after the quiet this quiet time passes there's a there's a field force once we enter into it it's going to be like calm waters for a small season and then once we hit that inner layer uh, you know we could potentially be thrown out of orbit just a little bit so if the if the orbit of the earth changes well let's put it this way if mercury if its orbit changes and it comes out towards us we're going to be in trouble there, there's something I never share with anybody, but I happen to believe that we're going to get we're going to get uh, brushed by one of our own planets. What planet? I mean, are we talking the moon? I mean, Mars, Mercury, Mer Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. <clears throat> I happen to believe that we're going to get uh, brushed by one of our own planets. What's causing everything that? that's well? We have past all, we have enormous disturbances that we're heading into, that's heading our way. People don't, they can call it whatever they want. We're gonna have these disturbances. Uh, first, there's gonna be, for example, not one tree, not one tree is gonna be left standing up, right? Not one tree. That will be because of water, because of uh, ice, because of winds, very high winds, steady winds. Can you imagine having a 60 mile an hour winds on the surface of the earth, sustained, for maybe a year. Can you imagine that? It causes a and ton then, of damage. And then, of course, storms would come in, and that those wind speeds would increase. This is what we're looking at. But look at the ocean. If we had sustained high winds, what's going to happen to the oceans? Well, right? it, the, we're, the, we're in trouble. We're going to have huge and tides. So on. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have waves and <sighs> unbelievable coastal flooding. Continuous. Right. Continuous. And unfortunately, this is a time we're heading into now historically. Have they seen this historically? You better believe they have. You better believe they have. They just don't talk about the things that actually affect people. They would rather have people look for a, a one in 3,000 year earthquake than to deal with some of these events that are going to affect all of us. I see. I mean, every single last one of us. Right. So we have the high winds coming. We have the, um, you know, the water coming. We have the, the, the uh, ability of clouds to hold twice as much moisture as they hold right now. You're talking about hundreds of tons of water right over your heads. You know, that ability to drop so much water inland is devastating. And, and it will not leave... Um, you know, uh, lots of foliage. Well, that's going to bring disease and a whole host of things all by itself. So this this domino effect, you could say, is going to start happening, right? We're in the beginning stages of it right now. It's just that the, the noise of what's happening in the world with people is so loud. 
uh, very few people are paying attention to some of these trends of weather phenomenon changes um, that are not supposed to be uh, in the Middle East. Who, when there's never been a time in the Middle East when you walk outside and you just drop dead because of the heat. That actually happened last week, right? It happened the week before. Uh, wow. The temperature is being so hot that people just walk outside and, just and they die. drop dead from the heat. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, here it's going to be no different. Oh, the sun here. is way. Way hotter this year. The, the sun is way hotter. And what I mean, the temperature could may, maybe be where it normally is, 90, 95, or wherever you're at. But the sun itself, it seems like within 10 minutes, you begin to feel your skin almost boiling. I mean, you can feel yeah. it. This is different, Mike. And, and you, you talked That's about it, that. Uh... Yes, that's that. When, in 2000, well, I forgot what it was, 2020 or something like that, we were talking about that prick feeling yes in the skin of a person because yes. i was begging people you know put sunscreen all over the place who cares how you look put it on um but when they go out into the sun they're getting too much uv too much radiation yes. right yes. they're lying about their uh, passball they're lying about so much on the internet it, it's just incredible and if people understand um uh java d5 c plus plus and all these things they can see the formula changes as to how they process this data you can see what they've done they're scrubbing the data they're rounding things out that shouldn't be rounded out and so what it does is it calms the numbers right so instead of instead of telling people they're being exposed to higher doses of uv they simply just you know adjust the formula and so any reading from any sensor dealing with this internet is going to kick out some smoothed out numbers is what they're doing they're scrubbing the data so it's very difficult to get the truth from that <laughs> even amazon right at, at amazon a lot of people like these uh, radiation detectors at amazon well some folks went and took those apart to do some real calibrations in um, you know the lab calibrations yeah yeah and they found out that they are well they're not calibrated like they should be calibrated. They're reading right? a false so, reading. <clears throat> now they're going to be digitized, which means they're going to be essentially calibrated by Again. some central computer. Yeah. So that means no individual calibration, right? They've even discontinued the detection chip and the multi multiplexer. Um, they've discontinued that, and they want to go. Everything is going to be gone over or, or go over to this um, communications type. Uh, telemetry for aircraft for different sensors so that no one will understand how these things are calibrated or they won't be able to calibrate it themselves essentially that means you go stand right in the middle of fukushima you know when it goes off and they can calibrate it to where you think nothing is happening yeah so you just fall over dead in a few days and you say oh everything's okay it's a natural death right you know so what if he looks lumpy and his skin fell off but this is this is what they're doing so that uh you know clever because they know people are smart and educated so instead of uh you know doing too much well, they just change the way things are calibrated yeah. they did it to aircraft already right aircraft are calibrated differently now helicopters are calibrated differently now so uh, that's because of the atmosphere pressure changes because they don't want the people to know what the real they, and they don't know compressor and they've also they recal yeah. recalibrated the earthquake uh, the richter scale that's not the same either i mean they're, they're messing with the whole the whole oh, yeah. thing they're, they're quite they're quite clever yeah they're, they're very clever mike let me ask you a question remember when you brought up spam and you said you know yeah. there's a day coming your your, your favorite uh, items won't be on the shelf, and you're going to see it's gonna more. Be gone. It's going to be gone, yep. and a lot, of, and that has yep. happened. A lot of them have never come back. They're, they're gone. I today was in a store, and there was Heidi said, "Look, take a picture." So I did. There was this entire end cap of spam, and it was mm -hmm. spice, hot and spicy mm -hmm. spam, jalapeno spam, this kind of spam, that kind of spam, all different flavors of spam huge i mean this was a huge display and i'm thinking uh oh so this is going to become the food of choice or maybe the, the food of necessity what, what do you think mike is it starting sure that and ramen noodles <laughs> um yeah but but you have you have a lot of companies who have gone out of business pastor paul you have inventory um some some items will not come back because the 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 um the discontinued manufacturing of that product during COVID-19 and following COVID-19 we had an animal die-off that was just blew the records out of the water right for example the, the birds are still dying in large numbers most species of birds 
have been dying in large numbers, right? Yeah, it's been going uh, on quite a while. Species of fish have yep. been dying, Yep. right? Um, they had, what, four and a half feet of fish found on, on the um, near a pier. Four and a half feet of fish that dead seemingly fish? Were, were cooked dead fish, yeah. And they were alive. So then you have whales doing the same thing, right? So they're, And then you have dolphins are beaching themselves all over the place. Right in uh, California, when the sea lions start doing this, they they now they kick any any type of reporter out. Uh, they start jamming equipment and they're doing whatever they do. They want they're 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 making it very difficult for people to cover these stories. I see. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, very difficult, and um, that's where we are now. So yeah. we we do we have, and you know what? That's going to get worse. That's yeah. I believe the animal die-offs are going to get so bad then all of us will smell it sooner or later. I don't believe there's going to be an animal left on the face of the earth, a, a species that's not touched by the dials. I agree. So I hope that people get ready. We have an, uh, I know they're talking about different. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Sea lions. Sea lions yeah. Are yeah. Sea lions are yes, beaching are. themselves. Yeah. Yes, they are. Well, you yes, know, we start, I started they, covering those, Mike, and back in 2011 when the like 5,000 birds fell out of the sky in BB, Arkansas, and then all, millions of fish here and there, and then cattle yeah. falling over dead and all of this. And that was in 2011. And at that time, the media covered the stories. They ran articles, and they put, they put yeah. me on interviews and television, different things, because I was showing them scripture that said this was going to happen in Hosea chapter 4. But then all of a sudden, about two years later, there was a stop. No, they, no more coverage. It didn't matter. I don't care how many birds sure. died or whatever. It was never covered again. It was just basically so yeah. hard to find. So you're saying that it's happening even in bigger numbers, but the media is not allowed to cover it yes. or, or maybe right. real local, maybe real, real, real local, but that's about it. it can't, it's not going to get that's out right. past there. That's right. The rule of thumb is that if media does not cover it, right? What's that? Honey? The study's not there. The, oh, yeah, the oarfish. How do you want to bring that up? Uh, you know, you said this last Thursday that these creatures from the bottom of the uh, of the ocean were going to start coming up. And one did. A 12-foot oarfish washed up in San Diego. And, that, and that's the same place to see. And that's the same. It's the same beach, La Jolla Beach. It's a beautiful beach. It's La Jolla Beach in San Diego. I've been there many times, and, and uh, that's where the sea lions come. Well, the sea lions are now washing up dead, and the big oarfish came up dead. Well, they're, they're feeding, yeah. So the oarfish came up dead, about 12 foot, and uh, it's only the 20th time that this huge creature has ever washed up on the beaches of California since 1901. So it's rare. So you called this last Thursday, and it happened on Monday. Uh, is it because you have some information about the uh, the volcanic uh, activity going on in the ocean, and there's going to be more and more and more of this? Yes, yeah, a lot of activity underneath the ocean. The sharks have changed their migration paths. Uh, orcas have changed um, uh, some of their some of their normal paths that they utilize. They've changed that. Blue whales, same thing. Well, most whale species have altered uh, their 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 yearly path, and so. There is a, um, a notable disturbance underneath the waters. There are uh, quarantine areas underneath the waters in the oceans. These are for submarines. There are areas that uh, nobody can go to now, right? They are off limits, and that's enforced now. And again, pilots continue to, you know, see the, the ocean lit up. You know, they continue to see that. One, uh, one last question. Uh, asteroids is something people have been asking me. Said, can you check with Mike? Uh, we know that this uh, band of asteroids and meteorites this, this is coming. Yes. Can you give us an update on where we're at with that? Yeah, actually, I will. Actually, with a request. I, I, I hope that, uh, you know, at, at very soon we're going beyond the point of uh, talking about, you know, what could happen. Uh, we're going to be in the realm of what, is of, uh, what can we do about this. Okay. In other words, that knowledge will be everywhere. Now there will be certain, certain. Uh, uh, well, let's just say darkness will be in its place by then, and fully functional. But things are really their their timing is impeccable, and they are timing to celestial events. These guys have all the equipment to see past ball. We cannot dodge 
a big wall of rocks headed in our direction. We cannot no, dodge that. No. It, we're we're going to have this, and it will probably light up every single coastline. You know, um, we have a strong magnetic pull, right? Um, in Mexico itself, near the Gulf, right? It's a very strong magnetic pull from the Earth. So if anything is in, in, in proximity, you know how things are pulled into yeah. the Sun and things are pulled into Jupiter? Yes. Well, many rocks, just about every other day or every day, many rocks are pulled right into this zone on the Earth in this one specific area. And this is this is every single week this happens, right? This happens every single week. Out the, it's out in the that, ocean? That zone is, is, no plane can fly over it. No, this is over land, no part okay. over Mexico, part over the Gulf, part, you know, out there. But okay. There's a no-fly zone over this place. They don't fly rockets. They don't fly spacecraft. They don't fly, they fly nothing over this area. Uh, the Van Allen belts dipped into this area uh, not too long ago and actually touch the earth they say kiss the earth um so this area is widening it's expanding right this, this is a very dangerous area so if anything comes into our proximity those forces are going to pull it down into this area but here's a problem as we have this uh north pole going all over the place the magnetic north is jumping all over the place right it's becoming highly erratic we're going to have a change in our equator and the forces around the equator right? That will begin to shift. This will also move that area, right? This area that draws in debris and everything else. So right around that time, we will enter in to the, uh, to the beginning portions of this storm. We're going to have a lot of dust, right? It, in fact, it looked like the Middle East everywhere, like, like a haze is everywhere wow. on the earth. And that will simply be uh, some of the debris and dust and gases uh, from out there as they build up, as they essentially move towards a core of this disturbance out there in space, this big, uh, you know, thing of rocks. And, and of course, when that hits, uh, it'll be a, it'll be a, uh, it's not going to be a one-day event. This will likely be months. It'll last for months. It will take a toll on the Earth. Um, we don't. No one knows if how what what thin parts are in it, back to thick parts, and so on and so forth. Because it's kind of like waves in the ocean. You can't really predict uh, what wave is next, so to speak. Right. All but right. we're going through it, all and right. we're not going to miss it. We'll entertain that, you know. And all this is happening. In fact, this same. This same wall of trash, right? Yeah. Is also changing as we enter into that. The forces of the earth will also change because something external, all this belongs to something external. And as we get closer and closer to this point of proximity, uh, we're going to experience more and more disturbances here on the earth. Yeah. Mike, one more last question before we, we uh, let you go. Do you think, uh, you said earlier tonight that, uh, Election night, nobody's. We're not going to have a winner declared. Uh, but they might declare one, but we won't really know. There's still going to be a lot of debate. Do you see martial law? Do you in between the election day and the swearing in on January 21st? Do you think it's possible, or do you believe that the, our country may go under some kind of an emergency situation? I think they've already begun to plan taking steps prior right. to the election to make sure that um, uh, so preparation, things are taken care of. Preparation is already in play right now. Oh, it's quite serious. You know, the word was, Pastor Paul, the word was, is these threats are serious. And again, you have folks that have essentially armed themselves, right, yeah. of civilians. They have armed, you're talking about camps of of hundreds of thousands of people who have coordinated their civilians and you don't exactly have control over them. Nobody does. So if they act, they're going to act, but here's what you're looking. Here's at some of the actors, all these different groups, any group you can imagine, some of the big ones and small ones, you're looking at these people armed and ready to move against what they believe has destroyed their country because you know, on, on both sides, unfortunately on both sides, if the Republicans win, there are many militant Democrats who will say our country is destroyed. We have to act now to take it back to whatever. And if this happens to the, the vice versa may happen. You have people on the Republican side that will say our country is destroyed. We must act right away. Now, these, these folks are all throughout America, all throughout America. And you know, and I know that uh, folks, operatives from the Middle East, 
uh, from different countries are going to do nothing but feed the flames oh, yeah. of but, these ideologies. That it is, so, it is such a it's such a big deal that there's been a there's been a rearrangement of armed services here in the USA. It, it's such Just a big deal because of there's this been a rearrangement because of, of this yes. scenario that is oh, yes. setting up. Oh yes, oh yes. They have uh, they they've already come out with special maps. That give zoning uh, to every you know every single place. I think that people are going to notice a um, deterrence, a big deterrence. How big that deterrence is going to be is going to be up to those who are who who have the pulse of the people. But um, it's already underway. Yeah. And of course, nobody should ever forget Jade Helm, right? Yeah, I know. Mastering the human domain, mastering the human domain, which yeah. means absolute control over every aspect of what a person can and cannot do right that's so they already have that they already have the contingencies up yeah yeah because during jade helm they set up these these uh boxes on every single highway about they're about a mile apart so instead of uh, where the mile markers are you also have fortified areas hmm. uh, those are set up too. underground yeah yeah. yeah, they built them, built them right there, yeah. and um, they can take control yeah, so of the getting, city. Getting everything ready. They can lock down. They can build blockades. They can quickly lock down everything. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like pillboxes, uh, yeah. right there beside the highways, yeah. and they are. They can shut down the highways at any given moment, and yeah. and um, yeah. So, so anyway, that be, all that set up. It's going to be a very, set. very, very uh, potentially dangerous time um, coming this fall. Very. There's, there's one last thing to this, too. If I were in leadership and I anticipated an uproar from the people because of some action that was about to happen, you better believe that before anything ever happened, I would begin to find who are these people that would cause such a disturbance. I would find them before anything ever happened. See, if you take those players out, if you can somehow uh, contain them, you may not have to deal with the whole right take, right? Out, take out the leadership of these uh so keep leaders. that in mind so that that means anybody who promotes amplifies uh continues to talk about her does whatever that that so forget about censorship we're talking about something on a brand new level that will be employed in this country and wow. they're not going to care about anybody's freedom of speech or anything else they won't care about that. So wow. these guys are serious. Uh, AI has come out at the right time, at the exact same time, which can cover everything they cannot. All right. Well, we've been given a full um, explanation. Well, we've been given a lot to think about. Uh, what Mike has helped us with here tonight, the entire broadcast has been gearing us to realizing that we're at a critical moment. And not only our nation's history, but the world. Because, believe me, as the America goes, so does the world. Uh, so, Mike, we want to thank you tonight. We look forward to whatever. I want you to be ready and prepared when I get ready to film you on what could be the October surprise. Uh, and with all the different speakers, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. Based on your intelligence that you can share. Uh, or your gut feel, or your information, or your prophetic insight, or whatever, or your experience, whatever it may be, to prepare people for uh, whatever is coming uh, and the possibilities. So, thank you for coming and being with us tonight. Pastor Paul is always an honor. The honor is mine. Thank you, Mike. Great job. Thank you. God bless. All right. God bless. Mike from around the world, on fire tonight. Absolutely being very candid without revealing anything that's classified. And um, leaving us in a point that, boy, if we need, ever needed, if was ever needed some prayer, uh, it, will, it will, you know, right, it'd be time for prayer. When you, uh, it's what I'm thinking. 